Hi guys, so it is the new year and I'm starting off doing a little bit of family vlogging, I guess. Um, I talked about this back in August when I was doing Vlogist and I said I would never ever vlog again with one exception and that was I was going to do a little bit of vlogging in the last 30 days of my pregnancy. Um, I'm due on the 31st, today is the 1st, which means I have the last 30 day window closing in on me. Um, so I thought that I would just do a few videos throughout these next 30 days because um, I'm doing a home birth. I've had a lot of people ask questions about this. Um, if everything goes according to plan, this will be my second home birth. So um, I'm kind of excited to share that with you guys. And um, I don't know, just maybe answer questions that you guys might have about what it's like getting prepared for a home birth and what's different about it. I don't know. I'm just going to see where the vlog takes me, I guess. Um, this is going to be more family vlog style of videos, which means that like my husband is in the next room, you're going to hear him, you're going to see my son. These are not going to be the highly kind of like, I don't know, the kind of videos I usually do. But um, don't, don't unsubscribe from this channel if you don't like vlogs. This is not going to be something like that's a new direction with my channel. It's just something that I'm doing until my baby gets here. I'm still going to be peppering in kind of my old usual content that I'm going to be continuing with after the baby gets here. So if you have a problem with vlogs, why don't you just go down to the little red bell and unclick it so that you don't get notifications every time I do a vlog. That's fine. But don't unsubscribe because there's going to be normal content coming and this is only gonna be a 30 day period, so that's that. So yeah, basically, um, I'm giving birth in 30 days or so, um, and we're just kinda doing everything that you have to do to get ready for that. We have the normal things going on that you have to get prepared for for a home birth, which is getting the pool all prepared, getting the kit that you have to have, and I'll show you all the stuff that comes in the home birth kit, um, figuring out where we're gonna set up the pool and, and all those things, and then, the other side of it is we have to figure out what the heck we're doing with our business um, <laughs> when I go into labor and in those first few weeks after she gets here, which is a little scary. Like I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's a lot just running a business and having a toddler. Um, now it's going to be business, toddler, and newborn, <laughs> and I, I just don't know how I'm going to juggle it all. So one of the things that I decided to do um, was to hire a personal assistant and she's going to be starting within the next week. I'm really looking forward to it because I am going to be needing some help when this little girl gets here in a few weeks. Especially because I'm, I'm tired. Like, I, I don't know, I was not, not this tired at all with Roman. But then again, with Roman, I didn't have a toddler that I was chasing around, so maybe that's the problem. So this personal assistant is going to be someone who's going to help me with the business side of things, with, you know, packing and shipping orders and, you know, ordering stuff from our vendors when things go out of stock and all that kind of stuff. And she's going to be helping out a little bit around the house with just things that I have to do as a mom and as a wife as well. So <laughs> that is going to be great. And one of the first things that we decided to do to kind of prepare for this person coming was to get a home office situated. So, um, depending on the camera angle, you really can't see much, but this is my new office space. This is where I'm going to be doing my sensible mama work. This is also where my personal assistant is going to be working. And this is also going to be my new, um, video studio thing. <laughs> so over here we got a couple of wingback chairs that I'm really excited about. This is going to be where Sarah and I do our first look videos um, for new releases and things like that from Jujubee. Um, so just a comfy little spot for filming if I want to or for sitting down with my assistant and making plans for the day and, and whatnot. So here's kind of a look at the little seating area. Over here I have um, my happy home sign there with my Lily Jade and some of my favorite ring slings. Um, hi! And then over here is the desk area where work gets done. So I'm super excited about this because I finally have a place for me to get my work done and also for my assistant to get some stuff done um, so that she's not like sitting at my kitchen counter and you know feeling awkward. <laughs> Roman is really excited because there is a light over here, a studio light, and it's on now. <laughs> and he is real, real excited about the light. Do you want to come be on the camera or do you want to just keep howling at the light? 
So yeah, um, that's basically the changes that we've made in this area of the house so far. Um, we have made some changes to some other parts of the house and I was planning on showing them to you. But um, I was upstairs and I was like thinking the downstairs was in pretty good shape for me to come and film in the kitchen. And then I came downstairs and my husband who said that he was going to be in the garage working, what that translated to was bringing everything out of the garage and into the kitchen. <laughs> so, I mean, the way that it kind of works in this household though is that like, when I say I'm cleaning the house, it actually means I'm taking crap out of the house and putting it in the garage out of my way. And when my husband says that he's cleaning the garage, he's pulling things out of the garage and bringing them into the house. Where they're out of his way. So, that's, that's my kitchen at the moment. That's my husband wandering aimlessly. I don't know. <laughs> so here's Roman. Hi! <laughs> you like the light on you, don't you? You feel like a superstar. I'm not a moon! Yeah. Well, what you got there? A mouse? Nice. You watching yourself in the viewfinder? You gotta look here. Not over there. <laughs> He's so clueless. He doesn't, doesn't know how to be a star. So yeah, that's basically what's been going on here in our house. Um, just been getting ready for the baby to arrive and getting ready for our uh, assistant to get here. My husband says that he needs to clarify something that I said earlier about cleaning. Go ahead, Charlie. Um, yeah, I bring things out of the garage in here and I organize it and I put it back in the garage. But take a look at this. That's totally my mess. Yeah. Yeah. You need to repent right now in front of all your fans. Repent. Do you hear how he talks to me? It's so wrong. I just can't even believe it. As far as the pregnancy goes, woo, light. As far as the pregnancy goes, um, it's been going pretty well. Wanna well, come sit with me? Come be on camera. Charles Wardell. Look what you made happen. <laughs> How, how am I supposed to keep a straight face when you're back there like a gingerbread man? No, no, let me just correct the situation you caused here. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so there's the bump. She's down real low and she's huge. And so I've just been super uncomfortable and miserable. Okay, so I got to have a shower which was great. The baby is napping, which is also great. And now, like one of the last things that I have to do to kind of get everything prepared for the home birth, um, in terms of just like having the things that we need, is order the, um, like the birthing kit. So last time um, when we had Roman, we had to buy the full kit. Like we had to buy the birthing pool and um, everything that goes along with that. This time, all we're having to do is purchase like the basic kind of kit of things that my midwife is going to need. So that's what we're doing today. I have to figure out what all we need here for this birthing kit. So my midwife actually did something really cool. You can go on to her website and she has worked with like a birthing kit provider and has put together her own custom birthing kit. So all I have to do is go to this website and basically just purchase her kit, but there are some other things that we need on top of just this kit. So um, the kit itself, <clears throat> what she specified that we need are under pads. They're like things that go inside of your underwear to help with bleeding after the birth, um, alcohol prep pads, plastic backed sheet. That's like what, you know, when you go to the pediatrician, you sit your baby down on that sheet on the table that's like padded on one side and plastic on the other. Um, non-sterile OB pads, six sterile gloves, um, mesh underwear for after you give birth, a peri bottle, gauze, lubricating jelly, cold packs. Oh my gosh, the cold, 
those cold packs. I don't know if they give this to you in the hospital or not, but after I gave birth to Roman, uh, my midwife had, which I had purchased in my kit, these cold packs that you slip into your underwear afterward. And um, like I didn't rip with Roman and I was so grateful for that. I'm hoping that doesn't happen in this birth either. <clears throat> but basically these cold packs are like just ice packs that you can stick in the mesh underwear that you get in your kit and it just helps with swelling and discomfort and I'm gonna be glad to have those back. Let's see, economy bulb syringe, three straws, a newborn tape measure, operating scissors, a newborn cotton hat, and two cord clamps. So all that stuff that I'm buying in this kit is $53, which isn't bad, um, especially considering already how much cheaper a home birth is than a hospital birth, but there are some other things here that I have to add to this kit. So let's see. I'm going to add a water birth net since we're doing water birth. Whatever comes out during the birth, it floats, and so you need a little net to scoop stuff out with. So we do have our, our net here that adds $1.80. Um, we already have our pool. A birthing pool costs about b between $120 and $200, depending on what brand you get. We got a really big one that has like a, a stool in it and everything, like an inflatable kind of seat, and it was awesome. So we're using that again. Um, you can use the birth pool over and over again, but the only thing you have to do is buy an additional liner. So let me add that to my cart. Let's see, where is that? You can get like a faucet adapter if you're going to be pumping water from your bathtub to a birthing pool, but we don't actually need that this time. Um, 25 inch hose or 50 inch hose. I think we already have all that cordless pump. So for $40 you can buy a pump to pump up the pool instead of having to blow it up yourself, which I think would be awful. And I think that's about it actually. Oh wait, floating anima animated thermometer. Yes, let's go ahead and grab that too because you gotta you gotta get the temperature of the water just right. Um, when I <laughs> when I gave birth to Roman, um, my midwife and my husband had just been pumping hot water into this pool. My husband was like boiling water on the stove and putting it in there. And I got in that pool and it was so hot. <laughs> so it was like you know you get in and you're already like having contractions. I was you know ten centimeters dilated and I'm on the water like oh it's too hot it's too hot it's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> so we're definitely gonna get this thermometer this time so we know what the temperature of the water is like before I get in it. Oh, and after ease. I'm gonna add that to my cart as well. After ease is stuff that you can take after you give birth that's supposed to help with healing and postpartum bleeding. It's supposed to also kind of help just shrink everything back to where it's supposed to be and um, it tastes awful. It's like, I can't think of a medicine that tastes worse than after ease, but what my husband would do was like mix it with orange juice or something for me in the morning and at night, and that seemed to help. So we're gonna get that too, which is 1087. So I'm gonna add all those things to my cart, which brings me to a total of 9317. So on top of what we're paying for our home birth, which is um, right around $3,000, I believe, which if you've ever done a hospital birth, that's at least here in our state, that's a lot, a lot cheaper than a hospital birth. Um, so we have about $3,000 for the home birth, including, um, let's see, that includes the birth itself, that includes all of my prenatal checkups and visits, that includes um, postpartum visits, and <clears throat> yeah, just about everything related to the pregnancy. So $3,000 plus $100, it's not too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this and once we have this all paid for and here, we're kind of ready. Physically, anyway, like we have the stuff that we need. I'm not sure that we're mentally prepared yet. It's just, I don't know, you spend your whole first pregnancy, that's like all you think about is, oh, there's a baby coming and you're so excited. The second pregnancy, you're so, you know, devoted to your toddler or whatever age they might be that you kind of don't have the time to mentally prepare or obsess the way that you did with your first child, so I don't even know if we've truly processed yet the fact that this new baby is coming, but this is a nice kind of step <laughs> for getting us there. So guys, I'm going to uh, end today's video here. 
Um, I'm going to be having my regular content coming out this week as well. I'm going to be showing a first look of the two new prints coming out from Jujube. That's Amethyst Ice and dot dot dot. So be on the lookout for that. Hope you guys have a wonderful week and a fabulous new year. And I will see you next time. Bye.